れに応えよ応援All right, what is going on, guys? Five Bowls back again, coming at you with a showcase on the brand new movie remake Kusaka. And, <laughs> yo, dude, I love the auras that they're giving these characters now. Look at the aura for the Ginzu, look at the aura for the Kusaka. All right, Let, let's just get right into it. Now, I do think that Kusaka is the current best tech Soul Reaper killer in the game, if not one of the best tech characters, if not the best tech character in the game, which is kind of crazy to think about. Uh, Soul Reaper with Soul Reaper Killer, I do think that he competes very well with the new uh, lineup of tech units with Nemu as well as Miyuri. Oh, that's kind of cool. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't realize that the other two are Miyuri and Nemu. That's cute. All right, so we are rocking 3200 Spiritual Pressure. Uh, we do have a Spiritual Pressure 20 on this Lieutenant's badge. He normally runs the Tension tie, but uh, for just the showcase purposes, I do want to deal more damage with his strong attacks. A Spiritual Pressure 3030 across the board with, um, excuse me, with, uh, again, on the Fortification Pillar on the Hollow Bait. Uh, SP20 on the Lieutenant's badge. Sark and Ichigo hybrid links with Nini on the side. And uh, yeah, going into his actual skills, we do have Weakened Immunity as an innate skill. Freeze on all of his attacks, as well as a Bruiser 20%, Berserker 20%, Havoc 20%, Frenzy, Debilitator plus 5 seconds, Reduce Strong Attack cooldown from his links, De Devastation 40%. And going into his other skills, obviously he has the Sprinter plus one, but he also has damage to frozen enemies plus 20% and increased technique attribute Soul Reaper damage to status ailment affected enemies plus 20%. So pretty much if he freezes an enemy, he's getting a 44% damage boost because it does get compounded, right? Times 1.2 times 1.2. And that in and of itself is an incredible damage increase because that's going to uh, apply when he's using his ultimate that freezes as well as his strong attacks that could potentially freeze. And if an enemy gets weakened or um, or paralyzed or pretty much anything else, they'll also get hit. He'll also get a damage boost to any tech soul reapers by 20% to those enemies as well, which the fact that it transfers over the damage boost to other characters, especially if you're doing in stuff like Epic Raids or Inheritance Trial especially, like that in and of itself is really, really, really good. So even when Inheritance Trial comes back for like say Hollow Killers, with Nemu on the party and you paralyzing all the enemies, he's still gonna get that 20% damage boost. And I think that that's really, really important to note because he not only boosts your party, but he's just an overall good, good character. <laughs> Alright, so let's uh, get right into it. Times one run and see exactly what this guy can do. Uh, we will swap in a Synchizen link if he has it. Uh, he was saying that this was his alt account, which is why he doesn't really have like anything crazy on this account. Uh, aside from like his 5-5 Masaki, which ended up making it his main, which is damn 5-5 Masaki. <laughs> oh, right. Alright, so 10k on the first strong attack. This is the 3000 link beam. We got some crazy range on that. Look, look at that. Able to smack the enemy from all the way back there. Now the third strong attack is the 1200 um, vacuum into 870 AoE, I think. 10.8k. Oh, let me lower that a bit. <laughs> I still think he's so shorty you can. Uh, second strong attack is going to be the 960. Thirty-five ninety-one on the frozen enemy. Oh, interesting. Yeah, that twenty percent damage bonus, uh, pretty much is the equivalent of getting a crit, like criticals. Interesting. I like that. Damn though, but like one of five, he still is really good. Ten point three k. Twelve point four k. <laughs> I'm like laughing on the inside. <laughs> you, oh, dude. And this should definitely one shot. Um, it froze my game. <laughs> it broke my well, I don't know if it's going to show that in the recording. Oh my god. <laughs> Hold on. I, I need to check this out. I need to check this out. Uh, yeah, it, de it definitely froze like the screen. That's so funny. But um, yeah, you saw the damage from 28k to 41k. So effectively like a 50% damage increase. Well, I mean, it should be a 44% damage increase because he doesn't have uh, weakened defense. 
But um, even so, that's really, really, really good. That's really good. Oh, oops, I accidentally. I was supposed to put in a Senkaisen link, but I'm not gonna lie, I kinda enjoy playing him as is. Let me see how quickly we can like get through here. Now, this character, in my opinion, is completely worthy of getting him to uh, 202020. I think he's personally like worth it. Uh, especially because um with that boost to his the allies and stuff like that, and stuff like inheritance trial, I think that he's gonna be a good unit to have as a one of, even if um even if he doesn't have killer. Which I think that that's pretty damn important. Like characters like Kirinji was doing good in Hollow Week, uh, Nanao was doing good in Hollow Week despite and and the, and, the, and Soul Reaper Week despite not having the appropriate killer, right? Boom boom. So having these characters to come in and actually help buff the allies, I think is actually pretty damn good. Look at the laugh. Okay, that's the second strong attack that's doing that. Uh, let's, check out, let's check out his third strong attack against the Retsu and see how that goes. Nice. Alright, let's hear the laugh again. <laughs> I love his laugh, it's so funny. Oh, dude, this character is dope. Is it too late to trade accounts? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. Uh, let's uh, go with full stamina damage boosts. Boom, 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 boom. Nice. Let's get rid of the mini, that way we keep uh, the damage. Boom, boom. I'm actually really happy that they made all these characters actually really good. Like, I think that uh, Rukia is probably the weakest in the banner, and even... Even so, I still think she's an excellent character. 16.1k, 13. Oh. Beautiful. That was close. 30.1k. Uh, I think that was like 42k on the last enemy, on the bigger enemy. Unless that was a critical. Dude. And that hits uh, 12 times. Nine sixty. Nice. That was actually able to finish off the job. Twelve hundred. Yeah, and the fact that that's like kind of like an AOE distant attack, the third strong attack. I think that that's really good. Also, I'm gonna try to get um his third strong attack back before we proceed. Okay, there's the Retsu. Oh, almost able to one shot. Oh, nice, it didn't freeze this time. That's nice. <laughs> Boom. 33.9k plus 44% damage. 33.9k, let's find out. All right, so 33.9k, we'll multiply this by 1.44 for the damage from the damage to frozen enemies and damage to status inflicted enemies, right? So that's going to be 48.3k, and then we're going to multiply this by 3, then add the 33.9k, the initial hit, and that is 180k with the ultimate, without attention tie, with the damage inflicted at full stamina plus 20% from the link, and then on top of that, you also get, uh, uh, this is also 1 of 5 with SP 10. Actually really, really good damage, considering that he just, quote unquote, freezes the enemy for 10 seconds, which <laughs> is an incredibly long time. Overall though, I don't think that Kusaka disappoints at all. Sure, his third strong attack might not come out right away, for, uh, like, a com in comparison to, like, the 1200 radius third strong attacks that being said though like the fact that he still has the 3000 length beam for a strong attack 960 uh aoe circle second and the 1200 into explosion third strong attack he still has the range and he's still incredibly good and the fact that he also boosts his allies as well as increases his own damage when the enemies get frozen when he has freeze on all of his attacks 
overall, incredibly powerful character. I think Caleb did an excellent job with him. I'm hoping to pull him from his individual. And uh, yeah, I mean, I guess I'll leave it at that. You guys, grind on catch up, and stay blessed. Like, comment, and subscribe. If you know, enjoyed this video, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.